may the fourth be with you. Welcome to Conflin for the evening of May 4th, 2020, the 49th day of the COVID captivity. And all the people are getting a little loony. So come on, tell your friends, get your spouse or your kids, well not your kids, let them sleep, it's late at night. Bring them over to the light side for Compline. Kind of looks like a habit this way. I'm gonna keep it. Blessings Rose, thanks for joining us tonight, hey Karen. Hey Dan, hey Kara and Mike, hey Curtis uh, and Carrie, hi Eleanor and Lawrence, hey Katika, Rose blessings. Um, hey Joanne, welcome. Uh, so our charity of choice tonight is the Alberta Animal Rescue Crew Society. This choice uh, was from Curtis and Carrie Ulmer, have been some of our um, Gracious donors, the last few evenings. Hi, Joanne. Welcome. Uh, hey, Sarah. Blessings. So I'm going to invite uh, Curtis actually to post in the chat a link to the Alberta Animal Rescue Crew Society's website. Uh, and I think the what they do is fairly evident by the title. But I'm going to also ask Curtis to post uh, a cute picture of one of the many uh, dogs that they have uh, fostered through. A-A-R-C-S uh, over the years and uh, yeah continue that amazing work and uh, yeah we again just the discipline of being generous and being grateful one is an extension of the other uh, at this time of relative leanness uh, to re-emphasize our gratitude for all the gifts that we've received. I have forgotten to turn on the fireplace, so I'm going to do that. And we begin as it is good and wise to begin all things under the care of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God Almighty, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, grant us, we pray, to be grounded and settled in your truth by the coming of the Holy Spirit into our hearts continuously. That which we know not, reveal. That which is wanting in us, fill up. That which we know, confirm. And keep us blameless in your service through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 21, and our hymn for tonight will be number 732, Borning Cry. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Family, let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another today. And just before we do that, I just want to share with you uh, I started subscribing to a new podcast. Uh, it's called The Confessional. It's a project of Nadia Boltz, Pastor Nadia Boltz Weber. Uh, they're just two episodes in, but it's a pretty uh, phenomenal podcast so far. Uh, I won't remember exactly the name of the woman who was the first guest, uh, but she was raised in the family that... Um, makes up most of the population of the Westboro Baptist Church. This is the quote-unquote church that is sort of famous around the world for protesting at, um, at things like military funerals or uh, 
uh, mass shootings, uh, really blaming people uh, for any tragedy that happens as though it's God's punishment. So they're the ones with the awful signs. So this lady is being interviewed by Nadia Boltzweber, Pastor, Pastor Nadia. Uh, and the amazing thing about it is they, they talk about how she came to be essentially converted out of the cult that she was raised in. And really at one point, because she was younger, she uh, was given the task of being part of the social media arm of the Westboro Baptist Church. And so she started tweeting out these brutally hateful messages. And, you know, she got a lot of brutally hateful messages back. And those never once at all caused her to question her opinion. She just thought that was the persecution she was facing for uh, the ministry that she had been called to and, and discipled into by her family. Uh, and what did finally bring her around to question the the faith system that she was being raised in in this the westboro baptist cult uh, was people who actually treated her on twitter like a real human being people that treated her with dignity uh, people who were at, who asked her about how she felt how she responded when other people treated her uh, in inhumane ways people that defended her um, not what she was saying but like defended the fact that uh, we shouldn't threaten people if we disagree with their views. It was just really interesting to hear the absolute power of compassion and uh, kindness. Not kindness just for kindness sake, but kindness with a real purpose behind it. Uh, really led this woman out of an awful situation, and she's now spent much of her adult life uh, in her own mind, atoning for things that she and her family have done over the years. Uh, so she has a quite a beautiful ministry now. So the podcast is called The Confessional with Pastor Nadia Boltz Weber, and I'd highly recommend it to you. You can uh, subscribe on your favorite podcasting service, and it's a free to subscribe podcast. So let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and words and deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. Friends, by the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ, in whom we are forgiven. We rest now in the peace of Christ and rise in the morning to serve, changing the world with this inherited compassion. Amen. Psalm 21. The king rejoices in your strength, O Lord, how greatly he exalts in your victory. You have given him his heart's desire, you have not denied him the request of his lips. For you meet him with blessings of prosperity, and, a, and set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked you for life, and you gave it to him, length of days, forever and ever. His honor is great because of your victory. Splendor and majesty, majesty you bestow upon him. For you will give him everlasting blessings and will make him glad with the job, joy of your presence. For the king puts his trust in the Lord because of the loving kindness of the Most High. He will not fail. Your hand will find all your enemies. Your right hand will find all who hate you. You will make them like a fiery furnace at the time of your appearing, O Lord. You will swallow them up in your wrath, and fire shall consume them. You will destroy their offspring from the land and their descendants from among the peoples of the earth. Though they intend evil against you and devise wicked schemes, yet they shall not prevail. For you will put them to flight and aim your arrows at them. 
Be exalted, O Lord, in your might. We will sing and praise your power. So the psalm, uh, psalmist describes God in God's otherness and almighty power. And the song, the hymn tonight uh, declares God's presence absolutely in uh, just a, as relevant a way, uh, but not manifest so much in power as in providential love. So the hymn is, uh, I was there to hear your burning cry. And it goes like this. I was there to hear your burning cry. I'll be there when you are old. I rejoiced the day you were baptized to see your life unfold. I was there when you were but a child with a faith to suit you well. In a blaze of light you wandered off to find where demons dwell. I was there when you heard the wonder of the world. I was there to cheer you on. You were raised to praise the living Lord to whom you now belong. If you find someone to share your time, and you join your hearts as one, I'll be there to make your verses rhyme from dusk till rising dawn. In the middle ages of your life, not too old, no longer young, I'll be there to guide you through the night, Complete what I've begun. When the evening gently closes in, And you shut your weary eyes, I'll be there as I have always been, With just one more surprise. I was there to hear your burning cry, I'll be there when you are old. I rejoiced the day you were baptized to see your life unfold. You, O oh Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord, our God. And Jesus says in Matthew 6, Do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? Indeed, your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But strive first for the dominion and the righteousness of God, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow. And then in John 14, Jesus offers this peace. Peace is my parting gift to you, my own peace, such as the world cannot give. See your troubled hearts at rest and banish your fears. Sing together our responsory, and your part goes like this. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Try it. Into your hands I commend your, my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit into your hands i command my spirit you have redeemed me o lord god of truth 
Into your hands I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guide us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Guide us, waking, O Lord, and guard us, sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Welcome, Wilma. Blessings, Mom. Hey, Mary. I'm Marie. Blessings. Marty. Welcome, brother. Hi, Pamela. Hey, Danny. Blessings, Karen. Thanks for being with us, John and Carolyn. Remy, blessings, brother. Rosaura, hola. Blessings, Joanne. Friends, for what and for whom shall we pray for this night? Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. We persevere with Karen in prayer. She continues to battle her infection. Lord, this, uh, this fever is stubborn and the infection doesn't seem to be responding to uh, the meds that doctors are prescribing and nurses are administering. So Lord, we press all the more upon you, the source of all our healing. We pray that you would pour out generously your healing spirit, even as you enfold your daughter Karen in your loving arms. You know better than we do what's disordered or out of balance in her body. We pray that you would cast out any bacteria or other foreign object causing this infection. And just as we pray for physical healing, we pray that you'll grant Karen spiritual and mental stamina as day turns into week and into multiple weeks in the hospital. Pray that you would shelter her from worry and keep her pain at bay. <clears throat> we continue to pray with Eleanor for tradespeople, mechanics, electricians, welders, and plumbers. So often the people that keep the infrastructure working and running of all these things that we take for granted like electricity that works when we flip a switch or water that runs when we turn a tap. We pray um, for these people as they've been limited in their ability to work and household finances get tight and that causes worry and struggle in households. But we pray too for them as they begin to go back to work. Lord, that you would keep them safe
grant an abundance of caution and wisdom to tradespeople and, and their employers alike as we continue to try to care for each other as we reopen our society and economy. We pray together with Kara for those isolated and alone during this time. Lord, this season has not been easy for anyone and every household, every family has its own struggles. We pray this night, especially for those who live on their own and the special isolation that they feel. We pray, Lord, that you would grant them a, a deep sense of abiding in you, of being connected in a way that makes being cut off physically more bearable. We pray with Curtis for AARCS ARCS as they uh, took in 200 more puppies just last week. And as they're going in split shifts 24 hours a day to take care of all the pups and animals that uh, they're rescuing and, and sheltering, providing fostering and eventual uh, placement. Lord, we were, we're reminded that it's not just human beings that are struggling at this time. We pray for those humans that you've uh, called and blessed like your servant, St. Francis, with a deep compassion for creation and for our animal brothers and sisters. We pray that you would renew them and uh, continue to pour out the resources that they, are, they require to fulfill the calling which you have placed on them. So we pray for Alberta Animal Rescue Crew Society as a placeholder for all people who give care to your creation. And we pray that you would continue to sustain this vital ministry. We pray with St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Lord, we pray a word of discernment for uh, individuals and families thinking of taking on or uh, taking on a new pet or animal friend, uh, whether as a rescue or through other means. Pray that you'd grant them discernment of the, the depth of that, the call that it is to uh, journey with an animal friend, these animals that become part of our families. And we pray that you would uh, spare all animals the the suffering that comes with people who make a commitment to take on a pet or an animal and, and then realize too late that they're unable to fulfill that commitment or meet all the requirements. And we pray, Lord, for people in just that situation feeling overwhelmed and unable to care for another living being, that they would have grace to uh, push away the shame that they're feeling and to ask for help, to 
to connect them to help that is out there so that these animals might not be abandoned but can be uh, rescued and rehomed. Blessings, PD. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the chances and changes of life may find our rest in you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, the hours both of day and night are yours, and to you the darkness is no threat. Be present, we pray, with those who labor in these hours of night, especially those who watch and work on behalf of others. Grant them diligence in their watching, faithfulness in their service, courage in danger, and competence in emergencies. Help them to meet the needs of others with confidence and compassion. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who teaches us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, almighty and merciful God, who is Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Bless, preserve, and keep us this night and forevermore. Amen. Now, friends, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Uh, loving and serving, full of the, the love and the joy that we receive so freely from Jesus Christ. And serving with uh, perseverance and good humor. The Lord be with you, and also with you.